At the Graz University of Technology in Austria, we are experimenting with using students to develop e-learning tools. As part of a course called Molecular and Solid State Physics, every student is asked to spend about eight hours on a project that will help other students pass the course. There are no restrictions on the form this project can take. Our students have done things like compile a list of useful web resources, write an entry for Wikipedia, make a short video explaining some concept used in the course, they've programmed applets, or written solutions to old exam questions, and written part of a, a set of course notes. One of the concepts that the students find difficult to understand are the case space labels that are used to indicate the points of high symmetry in case space. These are often used to label the horizontal axis of a band structure diagram. One of the students wrote an applet that plots the symmetry points and symmetry lines of the Brion zones. You can look at the Brion zone from different perspectives. There's a drop-down list that lets you choose the Brave lattice. For some Brave lattices, the shape of the Brion zone depends on the lattice constants. Other students made cutout patterns for the Brion zones. These can be downloaded, printed, cut out, and folded into models for the Brion zones. This is what one of the completed models looks like. The students have made videos either by recording Blackboard presentations or by creating sets of narrated slides. After experimenting with different video formats, we found that uploading videos to YouTube to be the most convenient. YouTube videos can easily be embedded in a web page. Some of the students are knowledgeable in dynamic HTML programming. Here a student has made a page that dynamically plots the density of states for an FCC lattice with one atom in the basis. The data can be output as text columns and these, this data can be copied and pasted into a program that was written by another student. This program takes the data and uses it to plot the density of states and then it takes the density of states data and uses that to calculate the specific heat. Once we had an example of a dynamic web page like this, other students were able to use it as a template to create similar web pages. While not every project that the students produce is useful, there are advantages to using students to generate e-learning material. The students are often talented in web programming and in making video. They can explain topics at the right level for their fellow students to understand. But probably the biggest advantage is the amount of effort that the students can collectively exert on a problem. They can tackle big problems that a single instructor simply would not have time to do. In the two years that our students have been doing this, they've typed up more than 250 pages of course notes and posted detailed solutions to many problem sets and old exam questions. In conclusion, the students have made valuable contributions to the course. Their student projects can be found on the course website, which is continuously extended by new student contributions. In addition, all the lectures are available on the website as narrated slides.